Hello, this is Hui. Welcome to watch my video C++ Programming on Linux. In this short video, it will discuss one of another common topic in crypto systems, the digital signature. There are many schemas and algorithms for processing digital sign and verify. In this short video, we just pick up one popular used digital signature schemas as a concept. The RIC signature schemas, RICSS. The example we are using will be the RIC classical Bob sign message and send to Alice for verify. Alice asks Bob to sign the document and she will verify after received from Bob. Bob signed the original document using his private key and sent both original and the signature files to Alice. Alice received both original and the signature document and she can use Bob's public key to verify the signature files. In previous OpenSSL examples video, we have demonstrated the similar example using OpenSSL library. You can compare both examples and have your own opinion on what is the advantage and the disadvantage between two libraries. Here on Linux, we have created two programs, RICSS sign.cpp, RICSS verify.cpp. RICSS sign.cpp is a Bob signed document using his private key and the generator signature files. RICSS verify.cpp is Alice verify original and signature document using Bob's public key. Here we first instantialize a random pool and update a random pool using the IV, which is 128 bit, 16 bytes. And we centralize a private key and a public key. The usage, there are three arguments from command line. First one is a private key file, second one is the original file, and the third one is the signature files. After validate command line syntax, first we load private key from the key file. Similar as the previous video, using five source, we name key file from argument one, hex decoded, and we use private key load method to load from the key files. Next, we instantialize signer's object. We are going to pick up one of popular used algorithms, RIC, PKCS1V15 and SHA256. After that, we are just going to sign our document, sync into the signature files. First the parameter is a random pool, second is a signer, and we sync. For the signer, there's uh, some parameters very important to know, so we just uh, print them out. First is algorithm name. Second is uh, max signature length. Now we finish our program, we save this, go to the next program, RICSSverify.cpp. The usage will be three arguments from command line. First is a public key file, second is a message file, which is original file, and third one is the signature files. After validate the command line syntax, we first load the public key from the key file, which is argument 1. We same using the file source and name key file from argument 1, hx decoded, true. Then we use the public key load method, load from the key file. After that, 
are going to instantialize the Wi-Fi object. We're going to use the same RSA PKCF1V15 and the SHA256 algorithm. Verify from public key. After that, we instantialize the result and the signature verify filter object. Here we use a new sync called the RE sync. RE sync introduced in version 5.6 of Crypto Plus Plus is a sync for byte array. Array sync function like uh, another sync of library introduced of file sync and string sync. However, since the uh, array is a fixed size, so array sync will effectively discard date since the array is full. And for the verify, we need to concatenate the signature and the message. There's a flag can control the signature at the beginning or signature at the end. The default flag is the signature at the beginning. We instantialize to file source object the message file from argument 2 and the sign file from the argument 3. First, sign file, message files, and message end. After that, we're just going to verify the result. So if the result is true, then we successfully verified the signature on file. Otherwise, it's a failed. Now we finish our program. We save our program. We compile our program. Now programmer has compiled. Here is our private key file and the public key file. Here is our original message. First, we sign, generate a signature file, private key, and our original file, and my signature.txt. So our algorithm is RSA, PKCS15, SHA256, the maximum signature length is 256 bytes. Now we verify using public key, my original message, and my signature text. So you can see our verify successfully. If we made some change on our original file, we just change one character, we verify again, you can see Field verify signature on files. Hello, this is Hui. Thanks to watch my video. Wish it is useful. It's going to be great to have your feedback.